Hello grade 8. Uh, some of you were stuck on try it 4 and so I thought the best way to work through it with you would be to create a bit of an explanation video about how it works. So the question in try it 4 says that a translation t maps the point 2 comma 4 onto the point 5 comma negative 2 and the point negative 4 comma 9 onto some point x. We don't know where that point is yet, we have to figure that out still. We'll do that in a little bit. First it asks to describe the translation. So we have to figure out, for part A, describing the translation is figuring out how we get from this point here to this point here. Now there's two ways that you can do it. I'm showing you on a graph, but I'll also show you in a minute how to do it with just the coordinates. So on a graph, when we're describing a translation, we're trying to figure out how much left or right, or right or left it goes, how much on the x axis does it go, and how much up or down does it go, how much in the y axis. So to get from this point to this point, we see we have to go over one, two, three, to get from, and, and we can also see that just using the points, right? We're, we're using the point two comma four, and the point five comma negative two. And so we can say, well, what does it take for our x to get from 2 to 5? Well, we have to add 3 in the x direction. For our y, we're going from 4 to negative 2. So we're moving 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 spots in the y direction. But remember that when we're moving down, it counts as a negative. Up is positive, down is negative. We can also see that here. How do I get from 4 to the negative 2? Well, I'm minus 6. So, describing the translation for this question, we could say here that we are going 3 in the x direction, and we're going negative 6 in the y direction. All right, now we have the explanation for our translation, what we call translation t. So that's part A done. Part B says to find the coordinates of x. Now if you remember before, we have this point up here, negative 4 comma 9, and we have to figure out where this new point is going to be, point x, using this same translation. Again, there's two ways we could do it. We could either look here at the point and we could say, okay, 3 in the x direction, well, 1, 2, 3, and then negative 6 in the y. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Here's our new point, which is at negative 1, comma, 3. Another way that we could take a look at this is just to take a look at the numbers. Okay, well, our point here is negative 4, comma, 9. And we know that my translation is a plus 3 in the x direction, which will give us to, which will bring us to a negative 1 now and a minus 6 in the y direction, which will now bring us to a 3. So we can either use figure this out using a grid or a graph system, or we could figure it out just simply using the coordinates that we are given. So that's point B. The coordinate of x would be negative 1 and 3. And then C. What is the image of Q? Now Q they have at 3 comma negative 1, 1, 2, 3, and negative 1. And we call that point Q. And it says under the translation T. And so we're going to go through the translation again. Um, we are going to go then 3 in the x direction. Uh, and so that's going to give it get us to 3 plus 3 is 6. 1, 2, 3. And then negative 6 in the y. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And so you're going to be, well, right about there, right in the middle of my explanation, but you're going to be at 6, comma, negative 7 for that particular point when you translate Q uh, using that same translation of 3 in the x direction, negative 6 in the y direction. Hopefully that helps explain try it 4 as you're going through your questions and for those of you who might have been a little bit stuck on that. Have a great day, grade 8.